What's up guys? I'm heading to Paraguay right now because I have a few days to kill before a big cruise to Antarctica. If you're like me, then I'm guessing you know nothing about Paraguay other than it being a country. Could you point it out on a map? It's right here in the heart of South America. I had many questions going into this trip, and after spending the last 48 hours in the capital of Asuncion with new Paraguayan friends, I got all the answers and more. Thank you. Paraguay is offbeat, quaint, unique, and a nice change of pace from the recent places I've been. Paraguay is a, an island surrounded by land. It's very different from all the neighbors. I truly enjoyed my time in the country. Got a nice little heart bench. My goal in making this video is to introduce and hopefully spark your interest about this hidden subtropical nation in less than three minutes. Here are eight things I've discovered about Paraguay. One, it's small and friendly. Paraguay is about the size of California, but has just one third the population of greater Los Angeles. As you might imagine, things move pretty slow here, but everyone I met was friendly and down to earth. <laughs> Two, it's homogenous. Paraguay is the most homogenous nation in Latin America, with more than 90% of people being mestizos, or indigenous mixed with European blood. Three, it's bilingual. Believe it or not, Spanish is the second language for most people. Their native tongue is called Guarani, which is an onomatopoeic language, meaning many words imitate the natural sounds of animals and the environment. Gracias, amigo. Four, it's struggling. Paraguay has a struggling economy with an unequal distribution of wealth. 80% of all land is held by 2.5% of the population, and 161 people control 90% of the country's wealth. Five, nature is outstanding. Paraguay is as green and as tropical as it gets. All over the country are rainforests, jungles, and valleys with an abundance of wildlife, lakes, and waterfalls. Six, it's very cheap. Asuncion has been ranked the cheapest city in the world by numerous sources as their currency is very inflated. As I make this video, one US dollar equals 5,642 Paraguayan Guarani. But don't get too excited because the visa on arrival for Americans is a whopping $160, whether you stay for one hour or 90 days. Seven, there are few tourists. You said earlier it's a tourist site, but I'm the only tourist here. Yes. It's pretty bizarre in a good way. I've never been to a capital city without seeing any tourists. Even my flight to Paraguay had only nine people on board. Maybe it's the hefty visa fee, or the inconvenient location, or the fact that there are no must-see sites here. Who knows why, but maybe this video will help get more people across the border. Eight, Tedere is everywhere. All over the streets, I noticed people carrying a small flask or jug with a metal straw. I thought it was some local liquor, but I found out it's called Tedere, and it's the national drink. I tried it, and it's quite refreshing. It's like a green tea. The jug is just cold water that you mix with a blend of green tea and other herbs. Paraguayans are very proud of it. Lastly, how could I end this video without mentioning the food? It was surprisingly good. Carne, fresh acai, catfish, and strawberry juice. This is called beju. It's a typical Paraguayan dish. It's like starch and cheese and a bunch of other stuff in here. Not a bad living out here if you ask me. So are you ready to visit Paraguay yet? Comment below with any questions and I'll get back to you. Hasta luego! I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.